Hello people, it's Landon here, and I have been thinking about doing this vlog for a very, very long time, and it's time to actually talk about it, because I'm starting to look at real estate in Regina again. And what's the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. So let's break this down and talk about it, um, because it's so tantalizing right now. the best way to really get into this is to sort of talk about what made me sell my house in Regina in the first place. Um, let's be honest, it was a great house. I loved it, but it was time to get rid of it. Back in 2019, and I remember this, I was on vacation in the United States doing my road trip, and we had a situation happen in the house. We basically had someone in the house break into another roommate's room and steal some things and they were arrested. So the police removed them, but I had to go through the formal eviction, which I've done numerous times before. So I went to the eviction office and this time there was actually like a lineup. Usually the eviction office is like slow. It's Saskatchewan, right? Um, but like this time, like there's all these guys and it's like, what's going on? So I started talking and of course they were all landlords and there was a change. The provincial government, um, used to pay social assistance or welfare, or whatever to people, but their rent portion was paid directly to the landlords. So there was incentive for let's be honest, like slumlords, to own property, fill it with people that have addictions or whatever, because it's guaranteed rent, right? The provincial government changed that in 2019, and they basically said, oh, we're going to give, you know, these people, they need to, like, learn money skills and things like that, so we're going to pay them directly, and then it's up to them to pay the landlord, and it turned into a disaster. Obviously, people that are doing substance abuse and other things, maybe have a gambling addiction or whatever, they're not going to pay their landlords. And it caused a huge eviction across Saskatchewan. And that wouldn't affect me, right? Because usually like I'm renting out to people that have jobs and like have steady sources of income. Problem was, is as I was having rooms coming up for rent, I'm having these sketchy people apply. And as it turned out, I think there was like some program in Saskatchewan or something that if you go to them, they'll like show you where all the vacancies are for low rents. And my house was one of them. I was able to like weed through it and then COVID hit and I had a terrible eviction. Um, and I was like, I'm done because while this was happening, the stock market kept on going up and up and up. And it's like, why, why am I like doing this? when I could just put the money in the stock market and literally do nothing and get my like $950 a month in dividends. So in 2021, I put up my house for sale. The other big thing too, when I bought my house, my taxes, the property taxes on the house were $3,700 a year. I looked them up, they're over $5,100 a year right now. So we're literally in Regina having issues with homelessness because people have been evicted from their homes because they're not paying their rent. Meanwhile, landlords are selling their property like it's going out of style. So it's really weird right now how we have homelessness that is so bad, like I have never seen it this bad before, as well as properties that are even resemblance of any kind of rental property are cheap right now. Yeah, like if you want like the two car attached garage with a nice family home, that's still retaining value, but anything that's like a duplex, a condo, even like a small house that maybe has like a foundation issue, or maybe it's just functionally obsolete, maybe it only has one bathroom, those things are going for cheap right now. And I literally have been eyeing up this duplex in Regina. It's a two bathroom, four bedroom duplex. It needs work, but whatever, dump $10,000 into the thing. They wanted like 139,500 for it. It's now come down another $25,000, 114,500. It's like they're giving these places away and I'm sitting here um yeah, I'm making dividends in the stock market or whatever, but like 
eventually I need a place to live. I'm not just gonna, you know, hang around Winnipeg for the rest of my life. I mean, I'm sorry, Winnipeg, but like, I, it's a really sad moment when I'm choosing Regina over Winnipeg. Winnipeg has its issues that are not fixable. Regina at least has fixable issues. That's kind of the situation that, you know, and I'm talking to family members and things like them, like, hey, are you seeing these properties? And they're like, yeah, like, we're kind of sitting here on the sidelines with our cash too. And like, mm, at what price do we go in, right? Anyway, so we have that, like, there's like a duplex. Um, there's like a three bedroom bungalow in like a decent end of town for 200,000 is what they want. Like someone offer 175 and just buy it. This is the situation I'm at. Um, and what would be really interesting is if like we bought these properties and then I doubt it, but like, let's say soon after the provincial government changes it where, okay, we'll go back to just paying the landlords directly and all of a sudden the landlords rush in and they buy the rental property causing the prices to go up. So this is what's been going on in my mind and it's just crazy that like, you know, I'm getting away from rental property but also I'm still looking and what can I say? Like, I'm a real estate guy. I love real estate. It's tangible. It's something useful. And the thing that drives me insane is that at the same time, every other city in Canada, whether it be like, you know, Calgary or even Winnipeg, Toronto's insane, Vancouver, everybody's complaining that house prices are so expensive. I can't afford a house. Oh my God. It's like, they're literally giving them away in Regina. And then the response of course is like, well, who wants to live there? And it's like, well, okay, like buy low, sell high. There'll be some other boom that happens, you guys. Maybe don't buy things when they're super high. Maybe sell them when like things are high. And like I said, that's the reason why I sold my house. It was too much house for me right? Like it's a three bedroom bungalow. It's, I didn't need to have a formal living room and a formal dining room. Like what was that even for? The other thing too, I knew that interest rates, again, my interest rate was 2.62% when I had my house. Um, they're not going any lower and they didn't go lower. In fact, they went higher, right? So I kind of knew that this was the time to sell. Should have I waited one more year? Yes. Like last year in 2022, for sure, I, that would have been the absolute peak. And then I also could have sold and then put the money in the stock market like while it was going down. Whereas I kind of invested at the high end of the market. Essentially, there's a lot of thoughts going in my brain right now. And I, it'll get to the point where I'm like, we'd be crazy not to buy this because honestly, um, that one duplex for 114.5, if I can get that for $100,000, that's basically my TFSA. I can buy it with cash, you guys, and still keep the money in the rest of my investments that are making the $900 a month in dividends. So I could literally not rent out any rooms and like have the dividends pay for my housing and everything else is gravy. So I don't know. It's just wild. That's an update from me. Um, otherwise, I'm still hanging out in Winnipeg. I'd be crazy to do this because I got a really sweet deal in Winnipeg, you guys. Like, I'm not living here, but like, I'm basically on an extended vacation and he hasn't charged me any rent, the guy that I'm staying with. So, ugh, anyway. But at the same time, I know that's not gonna last. I really do need like a place for myself to live. To put this into perspective, my condo that I bought in 2009, I bought for $155,000, three bedroom, one bathroom, undeveloped basement, developed the basement with an extra bedroom and a bathroom, sold it for $229,000, you guys. So I can get a duplex that doesn't even have condo fees and like it's less than half the price. Like wild, absolutely wild. That's what's new with me. Hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll keep you guys up to date. Take care. Bye.